Happy Chinese New Year. Because of the Chinese New Year, so we suspend the presentation this week. But I still want to do my own recording. So the topic for this week is that Heineken, Heineken eyes on expansion in Vietnam. So let's move on. Why Vietnam? Because Vietnam is a young, beer-loving economy that has become the second most profitable market for Heineken. So it, it means a lot for to Heineken. And also, like I said before, Vietnamese government has decided to release its shareholdings of uh, those national-owned beer companies. So it's a good chance for Heineken to invest more in, in this country. And also, this country has become a global hotspot for the uh, beer industry. Why? Because of its useful population and beer preference. So, Vietnamese people like drinking alcohol. But in terms of alcohol, they, they prefer to drink beers than uh, other alcoholic drinks. So, it means big for the beer industry. And please look at these two bar charts. An upper bar chart shows that the Vietnam's beer consumption per capita is the highest among those Asian countries. Um, despite the fact that its GDP per capita is relatively lower. And the, the pie chart on the left hand side shows that uh, people in Vietnam prefer drinking alcoholic drinks than soft drinks. Which is a bit ridiculous to me because I think uh, usually people prefer to drink uh, soft drinks, right? But in Vietnam, it's not the case. And butchers on the right hand side uh, shows uh, the, that the beer market in Vietnam will continue to grow. And this, and this chart is from Heineken. So I think it's reasonable and understandable that Heineken wants to. Uh, in, expand its production or something in Vietnam because data shows that. So I'll end my presentation here. But before doing that, uh, I would like to say again to my beloved members of uh, Kaohsiung uh, Asian Group, Happy Chinese New Year! We should have a great holiday, but must be careful. Be safe. Stay safe. Bye.